enchanted. Generic placeholder magic will explain everything. Seriously though, I like fantasy and magic. However, I also appreciate when there is some more thought put into it and authors or designers come up with more nuanced specific magical effects than just a lazy, this would be impossible to use you say, well, but it's magic, her <laughs> her. Just to clarify, yes, I know, it's just video games, movies, whatever, and they don't need to be logical. And sometimes being ludicrously over the top and bizarre is exactly what makes them fun. But deliberately overanalyzing something that was not meant to be practical can be fun too, so. Here we go! What would happen if you tried to make and use fantasy weapons in real life? In some cases it would work reasonably well or at least it wouldn't be a total disaster. But the total disasters are what interests us, right? So I googled ridiculous sword. Was not disappointed. Yep, that's a classic. Ugh, those are horrible. What the hell is this? Oh, never mind. Here are some of the recurring themes, issues with the design that would make it either impossible to use in a real fight or at least extremely disadvantageous. For one, they're often way too large and sometimes have a tiny handle which couldn't even support all of that mass under the stress of a forceful impact without exploding into a thousand splinters. The thing is, in an actual fight, you can't just slowly lift your giant spiky metal monstrosity of spiral deformity and drop it on your opponent's head, because by the time it falls they simply won't be there anymore. So in order to be effective against any opponent other than an arthritic 90 year old with asthma, you need to move really fast. And as I've explained in a previous video, accelerating a tremendously heavy and bulky object to velocities that would be effective in combat would literally pull you off your feet, unless your body is either supernaturally heavy or you can somehow anchor your feet to the ground. Hopefully without having your tendons and ligaments torn off by all of that momentum tugging at you. So you may ask, but couldn't it be made of special super light fantasy metals or be imbued with weight altering magic or couldn't the planet's gravity be lower? Well. If the gravity is lower than it is on Earth, that most likely means that the planet's inhabitants are weaker than we are because their anatomy is adapted to the local conditions. Plus, their body would also be less affected by gravity, so 